You know, it's a really hard point to make. Einstein, what did he know? But that is precisely the point that I want to make with this diatribe. So bear with me for a second, because you see, Einstein once famously quipped that God doesn't play dice with the universe. And I think if he'd realized what a pain in the ass that quote would eventually become to rationalists, he probably would have worded it differently because this is thrown in our faces constantly by apologists who want to rhetorically recruit Einstein to their side of the argument against his will. And the argument goes something like this. Well, you know, Einstein once said God doesn't play dice with the universe, so clearly he believed in God. Are you saying you're smarter than Einstein? There's a lot wrong with this argument, obviously, not the least of which is the fact that as an atheist, I agree that God doesn't play dice with the universe. He doesn't play anything with anything, right? I mean, fucking Aquaman doesn't play pinochle with space time either. I don't have to believe in Aquaman to endorse that statement. But of course, that skirts their point more than counters it. So a lot of people here will invoke Spinoza's God. Right. That is the you know God as conceived by 17th century Portuguese philosopher Baruch Spinoza. Now, to be honest, I, I would have an awfully hard time defining Spinoza's God in a way that doesn't take us way the fuck off subject. Uh, and the same is true of all the pithy definitions I could find online. So suffice to say, for our purposes here, the idea here is that the God that Einstein was referring to was more of a conceptual construct that stood in for the as yet unknown creative substance that makes the universe go. Right. Less a deity, more a placeholder. And if the discussion is what Einstein believed, that's probably the right way to go. But the good news for us is that it doesn't fucking matter what Einstein believed. See, as is so often the case here, the key is in the context. Because the point that Einstein was making when he said that God didn't play dice with the universe was a demonstrably, unequivocally incorrect point. He invoked it as a justification for why he rejected the basic concepts of quantum mechanics, for fuck's sake. Those concepts are right. He was wrong. Like, right, we've now proven them to the point that very few serious scientists disagree with them, or at least disagree with the aspects that Einstein was actively rejecting when he said all this shit. Hell, if we could bring him forward in time and show him the present state of the evidence, Einstein would no doubt retract his previous statement and endorse the theory. And that's the key here. Einstein rejected something that was correct, and when he tried to justify it, he had to give the universe a weird intentionality and invoke God. In this instance, as is so often the case, God was invoked to justify an unfounded belief that was later proven wrong. And believe it or not, that isn't a dig against Einstein. Sure, Einstein was wrong in this instance. Einstein was probably wrong in a lot of instances. He was a genius all but unparalleled in written history, but he wasn't infallible. Reality doesn't do infallible. And we accept what we accept from Einstein, not because we're all so impressed with his intelligence, but because when you run the numbers, his math checks out. E does equal MC squared. That's just how science works. Hell, in a lot of ways, that's the whole fucking game when it comes to science. That's all science is. It's the willingness to hold out for proof no matter how authoritative or intelligent or revered the source of the claim is. Everything else is just how we define the terms in that sentence. So even if Einstein was like actually picturing a bearded dude in a white robe, literally throwing dice against the wall, it wouldn't fucking matter to the argument of whether or not God existed. But of course, that's a hard one for religious people to get their heads around. Their whole thing comes from the idea that one person can be supremely authoritative, right? And it's also wound up in the idea that other people who speak on the behalf of that person need to be taken at face value, even when the shit they say doesn't add up. It's based on the idea that some sources are sacred. And when that's the lens that you're looking at the world through, it makes perfect sense to think that we're stuck with theism if they can prove that Einstein said it. He's a scientist after all. He's one of the best scientists ever. So you have to believe whatever Einstein said unless you think you're a better scientist than he was. In other words, religious minds have been so poisoned by this idea of divine authority and revealed wisdom that they can't even conceive of what it's like to think for oneself. <laughs> 